There once lived a man called Jonah. Who everyone knew as a loner. We agreed not to rhyme it. Sorry. Anyway, Jonah was given a message by God to go and tell the people of Nineveh that they should stop doing what they shouldn't be doing and do the things they should be doing. It says repent in my script. Same thing. Can we stick to the known way? Righto. So, what did Jonah do? Nor what he was told, naughty boy. He did the opposite. Got on a boat. Paddled his own canoe. Oi! Oi fishing, fishing boat! boat. Sorry, figuratively speaking. And headed straight out of town in the opposite direction. Where a storm was waiting for them. Whoosh! Whoosh! Never seen a night like it! He's never seen a night like it! Whoosh! Whoosh! Until... Look what you've done now! No, 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 it was me what done it. Who did it? Until Jonah confessed that it was because of him that God had brought on the storm. Yeah, fair cop, it was me. So he told the sailors to throw him overboard. I did. So they did. I did. <laughs> Sploosh! I think, you know what, I think he'd be a bit lonely out there in that ocean all by himself. Should we give him some company? Ah, good idea. Sploosh! <sighs> and the boat went on to its destination, leaving Jonah to be swallowed up by a big fish. And the other narrator to be swallowed up by his pride. Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and nights. I've never known three days or nights like it. Until on the third day, after he prayed to God for help, he was made to be sick. The fish, that is, not Jonah. Oh no, I think I'm going to be... <laughs> oh! You stay, stay over that way a little bit. You smell of old sardines. But while you're over there, tell all these people what lesson you've learned from all of this. Well, two lessons, really. The first is if God tells you to do something, you better do it and not run away or leave it till later, or you'll end up in trouble for it. And what's the second lesson? It ain't half dark in the belly of a fish. <laughs>